Hey guys, so I just woke up and I'm a little bit croaky because <laughs> I just woke up. But today I am doing, as you can probably tell because you probably clicked on the video, but yeah, today I'm doing like an updated full day of eating because the last one I did I was kind of, I was at home so I was kind of making do with what was in the fridge and I will basically run you through everything that I'm eating and then how I'm going to track it and stuff. I feel like I sound really weird. I've had like a tiny bit of a breakout with, I don't really like get spots as such. I more like get clogged pores and they just kind of surface and then I pick them and then they end up like this. But yeah. <laughs> This is not something that I would normally do before my coffee. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm gonna get up, have my breakfast, and oh my god, I'm trying so hard to be like, yay! But inside, I'm like, I'm asleep. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, I'm gonna have my coffee. That's the most important thing. <laughs> I do have a normal mug, but I made a face mask in it, so I've got to use my latte mug. <laughs> I quite like it anyway, apart from that you can see when milk goes weird. I'll show you. I don't know if it's going to do it, but I'll put the milk in and see if it does it. Because it does this weird thing all the time with the soy milk. I actually put it on my story the other day and all of you were saying how it's because of like the heat or something, which makes sense. <laughs> See like at the top where it's a bit strange? Usually it just does that all over. What the hell? <laughs> it's so weird. I normally just put like some music on in the morning and just sit and have my coffee, but I don't want to get copyrighted, so I'll sit in silence. <laughs> Actually so groggy, sorry. I'm just gonna drink this coffee. <laughs> this is Sarah's blanket and it's super, super soft. Don't tell her I've got my feet in it. <laughs> done um yeah i feel better now <laughs> i'm going to make myself some breakfast um i've been having like the same thing every day for like months now i just have oats with fruit in it i just realized that like since my last what i eat in a day i'm actually so much more confident in front of the camera <laughs> you guys were saying um that my awkward laughs are really annoying and stuff so I feel like there's less of them now, which is good, but yeah. So something that I always use is these little packets of the oats. Um, you can definitely buy like a massive thing of oats to make it cheaper, but these are always on offer in Tesco, so I just always end up getting them because they're so easy. They come in like little sachets and it has a milk line, so you know how much milk you put in as well. I just find it easier for tracking because it says like the exact measurement on it and the exact measurement of milk as well so i don't know i just need to get a scale don't i <laughs> that would make my life so much easier also look at this i burnt myself on the oven and i was hoping it wasn't gonna scar i just use soy milk or almond milk for anything i tried to switch them up a bit because almond milk is meant to be slightly better than soy in terms of health controversy about soy milk and it messing with your hormones and stuff so if you're worried about that then stick to like almond or oat or coconut they have so many so i feel like microwave minutes are the longest minutes ever i don't know what's longer do you think toast minutes or microwave minutes i'd probably say toaster minutes i don't know so this is a lot of women's best stuff by the way but obviously you can just get like a different brand it's i just use them because i've been using them for ages and obviously there i work with them so okay so this is pretty much like everything that i put into my oats this is peanut butter by the way the pot just like smashed of my peanut butter so i put it in like another pot from something else that i didn't use oh my god my porridge looks so scrambled <laughs> a teaspoon of this in um, in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
No. Mash it together. Every day that I remember, <laughs> I will take a multivitamin with iron and omega-3. And you don't want to get into the rhythm of having these every day because obviously you don't want your body to learn to get dependent on them. So that's why I just take them every so often to kind of fill in any deficiencies or anything in case I'm not getting enough. This multivitamin is quite good because it doesn't have calcium in it. So calcium actually stops the absorption of other vitamins and minerals and stuff. So when you are looking for like a multivitamin, just have a look to see if they have calcium in. I kind of wish Women's Best did a like a cod liver oil, which has like omega-6 in it as well. But omega-3 is fine for now. <laughs> so this breakfast does not have that much protein in it. Because I put so much fruit in it, I wasn't going to put a, like a scoop of protein powder in it, which sometimes I do. But yeah, if you're gonna put a scoop of protein powder in it, do it after it's microwaved, otherwise it goes strange in the microwave. I like my t-shirt. It's Sam's. <laughs> I've got a collection of his clothes. I never wanted to be that girlfriend that stole clothes, but I've got to the point where I've realized that his clothes are so comfortable compared to mine. I'm such a bad YouTuber. <laughs> I feel like most girls like put their makeup on and get dressed. I don't know how girls do it. Like I really don't. A bottle of water by your side too. Remember yesterday, my flatmate was saying how she was ill and then straight away I went and got my vitamins and I took one. It's actually crazy, you know, because um, in first year I used to eat so, so badly and I was ill all the time, like literally all the time. Always had a cold or a sniffly nose or something and if I did get a cold, it would last like a good two weeks because my diet was just so bad. I had no nutrients. This year especially, my diet's been really good. And my immune system is just, like you really do notice a difference when you're eating fruit and veg and just like feeding your body healthy stuff. Yeah, it really makes a difference. Like I've barely, I don't think I've been, I've probably been ill like two days since I came back in September. So in like seven months, I've probably been ill for like two days and I've noticed that when I do get ill it's literally like one day and then I'm fine the next day it's really strange I feel like I've been trying to eat this for ages so I've just always used my fitness pal so basically what you can do is add your breakfast lunch and dinner and snacks and you just kind of scan in the foods my maintenance calories I did work out properly the other day instead of using a calculator or whatever using the um, Miflon Mif something equation, I can't remember what it's called. But um, yeah, I calculated it at 1970. Um, I have put on a bit of weight, so it has gone up a bit since last time. I've already scanned these in, and once you have scanned them in, you can just type, and then it will, they will, they will, they will come up. So there they are, peanut butter. So I did Google how much a teaspoon of peanut butter is and they, it said it was eight grams so I just put in that much all the time so if you haven't got all of this scanned in you can scan the barcode I'll show you how to do that this button here lets you like be able to scan a barcode so so yeah and then it will just come up but I'm not gonna add that put on my chia seeds I just put that as eight grams as well because it's about a teaspoon I'm just gonna put in 15 grams because I have no idea and I'm just guessing but with your like fruit and stuff it doesn't have much calories anyway so it doesn't really matter too much yeah so as you can see my breakfast was 412 calories um, I'm just gonna scroll to the bottom and I've had 22 grams of protein so far which is okay um, quite a bit of fat but it's all been like healthy natural fats so it doesn't matter too much because obviously we need some good fats in our life <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to chill and get ready for the gym now my bags are so big <laughs> yes yeah, so I'm just gonna chill and get ready for the gym now and I'm so 
look at this these. <laughs> so yes. So I am gonna put a bit of makeup on to go to the gym. I know that some people are gonna be like, why? <laughs> but just kind of like cover my spots and stuff. So yeah. What's the time now? It's, oh my god, it, <laughs> it's quarter past 11. I don't know how that happened. Where's the time gone? <laughs> but yeah, so I'm ready to go to the gym, but I'm hungry again. <laughs> so I'm going to have a snack. Um, I haven't decided what I'm gonna have yet. Okay, so I've decided on having a bagel. These are, like, I'm so obsessed with bagels. I don't know why, but I just love them so much. I think they're so delicious. But I'm also going to have two baby bells. Um, so this is like a little hack that I've got to tell you guys about. So the baby bell lights, because, <laughs> So these ones, oh my god, my hands are so wrinkly. <laughs> but um, anyway, the macros on these are absolutely <laughs> insane. I think they have five grams of protein and two grams of fat, I think, per one. So when you have two, that's 10 grams of protein. Like, that's so easy. So I'm gonna add this to snacks, because I guess it's snack and baby bell. Okay, so once I've had this, I will have had 41 grams. Yeah, I use dairy-free butter. Yum! So I'm just gonna add my butter into here as well. I'm taking quite a while to get ready. I don't know how it's so late, <laughs> but yeah. Hmm. Okay, so I just got home and I'm sweating so much. <laughs> um, yeah, so I ended up doing like 20 sets of hip thrusts, like over that, I think because I was filming some hip thrusts for like Instagram and YouTube and stuff and I realized I was doing it the wrong way around so I had to do it all again. So yeah, let me catch my breath. <laughs> so yeah, I ended up filming so many, I'm li li I thought I need to eat some protein now <laughs> so I can repair my muscle damage. <laughs> yeah, so I stopped at Lidl on the way back and got some bits and pieces. Um, I think I'm just gonna have a yogurt right now. I've got these protein yogurts and they're like 22 grams per of protein like per yogurt. So I'm just gonna have one of those right now. And then I'm gonna go and pick up a package for lazuli. <laughs> um, these are the yogurts that I get. They're from Lidl. I think they're like 70p and they have 22 grams of protein in a pot, which is like amazing. <laughs> So I'm just going to have one of these right now. I'm gonna go and get the package and then I'm gonna make some like lunch and I'm going to have some couscous and prawns. Mm. I'll add it to lunch. Gam this one. Wait. No. So yeah, 63 grams of protein so far. It's going well today. Okay, so um, it is a Monday for us here. Well, for me filming right now. And that means that Game of Thrones has just come out. So I'm just gonna watch Game of Thrones to catch up before I see any spoilers on Twitter or anything. Because mm, I feel like, it's, I think it might be the big fight today. I don't know, but since I'm watching it, I've got to have some popcorn. And I thought about maybe not putting this in the video, but then I thought, no, that would be cheating you guys. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be honest. Yeah, I'm having some popcorn and I will scan this and put this in as well. But yes, oh, I'm so excited. I am indeed. Oh, it smells amazing. So I just finished watching Game of Thrones and oh my gosh, oh, I'm kind of sad. I feel like I didn't want it to turn out that way. I wanted Daenerys to be good, but oh well, <laughs> sad. Anyway, so I'm just going to scan my popcorn in. Um, I didn't eat like half the packet because it didn't pop. I hate it when that happens. I put it in for so long as well, so I don't know why it didn't pop, but yeah. Ow, I just bit myself. 
Okay, so I've just chopped up um, all the vegetables that, well not all, <laughs> but just some veg that I had in my fridge. So obviously you can just put in anything that is in the fridge. My mushrooms were kind of going off, so I'm sure they'll be fine. <laughs> but yeah, so all I do is literally put all of that into a pan with my prawns and some oil and and some noodles <laughs> okay i just find that it all takes the same amount of time so but yeah it doesn't even need tending to that much you just kind of leave it to sizzle and i'm gonna put the noodles in in like five minutes this is why it's like one of my staple meals because it's just so easy <laughs> and i'm so lazy when it comes to cooking i just can't be bothered most of the time and i hate things with loads of ingredients i just tend to just use what's in my fridge already <laughs> and make things from that if you know what I mean. So I'm also going to put in some tomatoes just because I bought some today and I want to use them. <laughs> the noodles that I'm going to use are like straight to wok ones which means they're kind of already cooked. Um, these are always on offer in Tesco as well, <laughs> that's why I get them. And again it's really easy to measure the servings and stuff. But these are rice noodles, so yeah, they look a bit strange and they're really thin. But yeah, these are um, lower calorie than egg noodles, but the downside is they have less protein in them, but oh well. <laughs> I think they're like vegan and vegetarian as well. Um, I can't find anything on the packet. Don't like hold me to that, but I'm pretty sure they would be if they haven't got egg in them. They're just rice noodles, but... I don't know, it doesn't say pack it, <laughs> if I can find the tear. Oh yeah, I can. And you just put them straight into the pan as well. So yeah, you can literally just leave this to cook and then do some other things and wait for it to sound like it needs to tending to. <laughs> Me and Sarah have just hung up a massive calendar. All the things we need to do this the whole of this year so it like goes up till December and it's actually really satisfying having something like that to look at <laughs> the weather was so nice today right <laughs> got to the point in the day you know when your makeup starts just going horrible and it's your eyelashes just stick to your eyes and your foundation goes all like patchy and stuff so I'm just going to add um, some seasonings. You can just use anything that you have in your cupboard, but these are the ones that I always use. Um, paprika, garlic, and soy sauce. And I find this just goes really nicely with the noodles. So yeah. Mm. 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 I open the garlic thing with my mouth. And now I've got garlic flakes in my mouth and it tastes horrible. Yeah, so I'm not shy with that. <laughs> so it's ready. Um, usually it's a bit darker than this, so I haven't put as much soy sauce in, but it will still be nice. Okay, so this is still too hot to eat, so I'm <laughs> I'm just gonna put the macros in now because um, for like the vegetables, I just kind of guess because it won't matter too much because they don't have that much that many calories in them. Um, I want to make up that 10 grams of protein somewhere, so I will let you know when I do that. It's still quite early; it's only like half six, so. I don't know, we'll see. That was pretty much a usual day. I didn't really have a lunch as such, whereas most of the time I do, but obviously because I was watching Game of Thrones and I had a bit of a snack before the gym, <laughs> I'd got 400 calories to hit my maintenance, 400, 500, whatever. But obviously I want to stay a bit under if I'm trying to lose weight, so I'll probably try and eat another 200 calories or so. And yeah, so... 
I'll just kind of record when I next eat, so. 